it's Vicky Nicole here. Today I wanted to talk to you about how I lost 50 pounds in the past year. Uh, please, if you're interested in my weight loss journey, I'm going to be posting once a month about how it's going, how my weight loss is going. And if you're interested, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you'll be Notify every time that I upload, which will be once a month towards the end of the month. Okay, I took some notes on how I lost weight, but um, so I'm gonna tell you a few things about me. I am 46 years old, I am a graduate student, and I um work part time in retail. Actually, I work at tore it if you're wondering i work at a clothing store tore it and um i only work two days a week so uh i today is my i mean this month is my first year of grad school and i'm studying accounting so i have kind of a hectic schedule i'm taking a full load this semester and i'm taking four classes so um I do have a hectic schedule. So I wanted to tell you a little bit about how I lost 50 pounds in the past year. And then at the end of the video, I'm gonna tell you how I plan to lose 52 pounds this year. Okay. So I started my uh, weight loss journey on September 23, 2018. I decided on that day to start eating the recommended calories that my fitness pal gave me. My fitness pal is an app. Um, you can download it to your phone or you can do it on your computer. It's very helpful. To start off, I was tracking my calories consistently without fail in my fitness pal for a year prior to me starting my weight loss journey. My Fitness Pal has a scanner software that you can scan the package of whatever food you're eating to get in a pretty accurate account of your calories. A lot of people find it tedious to record their calories all the time, but for me, I just made it a habit and now I literally do not eat without recording my calories every single time. At all times, I know how many calories I have left to eat for the day. So on September 23rd, 2018, I decided to eat the recommended amount of daily calories that my fitness pal suggested. So in my fitness pal, you can put in your weekly goal. And I put in that my weekly goal was to lose one to two pounds a week. And it told me that my uh, recommended calories was somewhere around 1,600. Between 1,600 and 2,100. If I, if I only try to lose one pound a week, it's closer to 2,100. If I try to lose two pounds a week, they tell me I should eat closer to 1,600. So I eat in between that amount. I cut out all sodas. I don't eat, drink any Coke, Diet Dr. Pepper, nothing. But I do drink flavored sparkling water instead, which has zero calories. I've been a vegetarian since May 2018. I do not eat meat, most dairy or eggs, but I do still eat cheese. I just do the best I can for the animal's sake, but I am not perfect. I still eat ranch dressing. Being vegetarian has not helped me lose weight. So that's a misconception. I was a vegetarian for four months before I started dieting and I was gaining weight. I do not cook. All of my food comes prepackaged because I hate to cook. I eat all vegetarian and vegan prepackaged or prepared meals, most of which are microwavable. I buy prepackaged salads, Brussels sprouts, broccoli, spinach. Everything I can eat can be scanned unless I'm eating at a restaurant. The downside of eating this way is my food has too much sodium in it, which can be dangerous, and a lot of it is processed. Although, like I said, sometimes I eat just fresh salads from the produce section, or I eat frozen bags of green vegetables that don't have much sodium in it. However, I will be honest that most of my food is from Guardian, Sweet Earth, or Amy's Meals because I like variety. I eat pasta with fake sausage, fake chicken sliders, fake crab cakes, and it all tastes amazing and it's made from tofu or soil or vegetables. I've thought about making bulk foods like beans and rice or vegetarian chili, but I dislike cooking. 
I don't have room in my fridge that I share with my roommates for bulk food, although I do take up half the freezer. And mostly I hate to eat the same thing every day. I hate eating the same thing. I have to eat something different every day. That's just who I am. The only thing I eat that's the same every day is oatmeal for breakfast because I love oatmeal. I eat protein oatmeal. Um, it comes in a package. It does have sugar in it, so that's the only thing, but it has like 7 to 10 grams of protein in each package, and I eat two packages of it. The great thing is to count calories, I just scan the package and it goes right to my fitness pal account, which counts and keeps track for me. The way I eat is pretty expensive. My grocery budget is $75 a week, and my eating out budget is $40 a week. So I spend about hmm, 100, what, 140, I don't know. I spend a good amount of money on food per month. Um, I go grocery shopping once a week. I usually use the free grocery pickup service from Walmart or HEB. My grocery list is 12 microwave meals or vegetables, two boxes of protein oatmeal, and 14 bottles of sparkling water each week. And then I also, then I'll go to HEB, go to the salad section, and I'll pick up two or three salads. Uh, and I use a 15 calorie vinaigrette dressing on my salads. Um, the sparkling water is only 59 cents a bottle. The oatmeal is less than $3 a box, but the microwave meals are expensive. They range from three to $4 each. I never get tired of eating this way because of its extensive variety. To quell my sweet tooth, Every week, I would pick up a slice of cake, but I found I was doing that too regularly and it was making me go over my budget and my calories and was sabotaging my progress. So for my New Year's resolution, I decided to stop eating sugar altogether. So it's January 23rd today. So far, I've eaten one slice of cake. Um, I had a really stressful day last week um, with school because something to do with financial aid and I was on campus in the cafeteria at school and they had um cake and pie and all kind of desserts and it was just too much temptation for me so I ended up eating a slice of cake but I don't plan to eat another slice of cake until my birthday and so I did say that on my birthday I could eat a slice of cake so that's the only thing um so, no cake, pies, candy, cookies at all. So, um, I'm trying to wean myself off of sugar. I'm trying to get sugar out of my blood because diabetes is a factor in my family. And I want to kind of prevent myself from getting diabetes. I buy protein bars that I only eat at work because I work at a mall with a food court and it's tempting to eat junk food from the food court. So when I get hungry at work, I just eat a protein bar. I eat three to four meals a day and I take vitamins to make sure I'm getting all my micronutrients. I try to make sure my food has some protein, like my oatmeal that I eat has 13 grams of protein total for the two packs. My fitness pal keeps track of your vitamins and macros as well. So I do check my vitamins and macros to make sure I'm meeting my um, requirements and make sure I'm not going too high on my sodium. For the past year, I have not exercised at all. In fact, I have been drastically sedentary. I go to school twice a week and I work twice a week. Most of the other time I'm in bed watching YouTube videos. The reason why I don't didn't exercise is that I had a bad history with exercise, which caused me to have an aversion to it. I needed to mentally get over it, and I'm starting to. Basically, I used to exercise five days a week and pay for a personal trainer twice a week, and I still gained like 30 pounds, and I got so mad and realized that you cannot out-exercise a bad diet. Then I realized exercise doesn't really affect my weight loss at all. For me, it is all diet. Exercise is maybe 10% of what helps me lose weight, and I felt like I was putting for so much effort for very little payback and it was pissing me off at the size I am now 260 pound what's going to make me lose weight is consistently eating less than the amount of calories I burn at my basal metal metabolic rate BMR is how much calories you burn sitting still I try to eat below my BMR to lose weight I consistently eat about 1600 to 1700 calories a day 
Uh, like I said, I do have notes here, so that's why I'm looking down, you guys. <laughs> so from September 23rd to about May 2019, I was losing about five pounds a month uh, for six months consistently. I kept gaining and losing the same five pounds month after month. Oh, I'm sorry. I stopped losing consistent weight for six months. So in around June of last year, I stopped losing consistent weight. Like I was losing the same five pounds over and over and over again. And like I would gain it back. I would lose it again. Over the holidays, I gained 13 pounds and lost it the following week. I did that twice. I did that um, during Halloween and during Thanksgiving. I, I gained like 13 pounds in a week and then I lost all of it the following week. And so anyway, I've been keeping a blog of my weight loss journey. And in October, I went to my weight loss blog and realized the main reason I wasn't progressing was because I was eating too many calories on too many days each week. I realized that I needed to tighten up my diet. I couldn't overeat twice a week or three times a week. I had to stick to my calories every day and that's it. I have a weekly dinner with friends and I was overeating way too much when we would go to these dinners. I would have maybe three cocktails and alcohol really puts weight on you. There were days when I would eat a whole pizza on one day and then eat a blue cheese impossible burger on another day and I was eating like a thousand calories over my BMR and then I would eat perfectly on the other four days. Basically, I was in kind of a maintenance mode at around 270 pounds, give or take two pounds. So I wasn't gaining much weight, but I wasn't losing much weight either. My weight would fluctuate between 268 pounds and 272 pounds every month from May until October. Now that I realized what was happening, I decided to exercise a little and try to eat the same amount of calories. I tightened up on my eating, especially on days I go out to eat. I just bought a Fitbit so I can accurately track how many calories I'm burning each day. I burn way more calories on days I go to work than on days I sit at home, which is obvious, but I didn't realize it's like double the amount of calories I was burning. So on my days off, instead of sitting in bed all day, I go for a three mile walk and I've been burning about 10,000 calories a day. So I started walking basically this month and I would say I walk three to four days, um, including I include in that the two days I work. And so then two days outside of work, usually it's the days where I'm at school. I try to um, walk up to 10,000 steps. Uh, unfortunately, the exercise has increased my appetite. So yes, I burn more, but I've been eating more too. I really have to get that in check. I'm going to try to just eat a protein bar after my walk to supplement my additional hunger. And I hope that's good enough. I feel like I had to change my entire mindset when it comes to food. I go to therapy every week. I do not eat the way I used to. I don't binge eat. Cake is my weakness, but my body is very sensitive to calories. So I know if I eat too many calories, it will show on the scale the next day. I do weigh myself every day, but I record my weight only on Sundays. This doesn't help some people, but for me, seeing my weight on the scale every day keeps me motivated to keep going. My biggest lifestyle change is knowing at all times exactly how many calories I have eaten at any given time. That has made the biggest difference for me. I had to buy a whole new wardrobe after I lost 50 pounds. I went from 310 pounds, 310 to 314 pounds, and a size 4X or size 26 and a 46H bra to 260. Right now I weigh 262 pounds. I'm a size 2X or size 20, and my bra size is a 42G. I sold all my clothes for way cheaper than what I paid for them. I lost so much money, and I spent I spent over $1,500 on a new wardrobe in the last year. I worked part-time in fashion as a sales associate, and people were telling me at work that my clothes were too big on me, so I realized I had to just bite the bullet and buy all new clothes, which was very expensive, and I'm in debt. My shoe size went from a size 11 to a size 10 and a half, so I also had to get new shoes. I'm still very big and obese, but I expect that I can lose about 52 pounds a year or one pound a week. I want to lose a total of 110 more pounds. I want to be a size 10 and my goal weight is 150 pounds. The last time I was at that weight was in the 90s. 
I expect that when I get around 200 pounds, I will start weight training and taking a dance class several times a week because I hate cardio, but I love to dance. I hate gyms. I, I refuse to ever go to a gym again unless I'm going to try to get a personal trainer that will come to me. I just hate gyms. I hate the thought of them too. I think at that weight, my progress might stall or plateau because my BMR might get lower from the weight loss. I expect to be 200 pounds in, let's see. I was expected to be two, let's see, 200 pounds maybe in February of next year. I think losing this slowly and making it a lifestyle change instead of a fad diet change will help me keep it off. I'm going to post most monthly updates on my weight loss journey from now on, including body shots. So please subscribe to my channel. Okay, so I didn't really prepare to take any body shots today, but let me see. I, you know what? I'll post a picture of what I look like now and what I looked like before.